after teasing this for several weeks, I think even longer, it's finally done. So we're gonna take a look at the new print shop. So the print shop is finally done and I'm super happy. It's been uh, over a month. I started working on the shop and let me tell you, I did everything by myself. Because A, I like to do it and two, you can save a lot of money when you work things yourself. So that's the good thing about it. Second is, if you guys know, I saw my old equipment, which was the Riley Hopkins, the green look. So once I got the new equipment, which is the Anatol, I knew I had to go red. So there were some things I had to paint the floor, I had to paint the wall, I had to redo everything again. And the first thing that I did was painted the ceiling. The ceiling was always white, but now I painted nice and black. It came out good. The thing that it was is so many pipes all over the place. That took me a long time, but it came out real nice. Second, after I painted the ceiling, I started painting the walls and I repaint. I still have some paint left from the walls. So all I did was paint it again. The wall looked real nice, all nice and white. The other thing was the red. The red was replacing where I had the green. This wall here that you see, beautiful, nice and red. With like the squeegees up and everything, nice and the side of this side here where is the room going into the dark room so this is the only thing that is red in the whole shop the other thing was i had to take my shelves that were painted green take them outside and these shelves i had to paint them all black because this side of the wall i wanted it all black and painting black this walls here with so many gaps inside it was a headache it took forever to get it to try to get every little corner every little hole but i got it done i love the way it looks so when i take some pictures from the other angle looking at the wall you can see that black wall just like this over here but beautiful the other thing i had the shelf and where the shelf is right here there used to be a boxy i broke all that down Tear up that wall, open up that wall, the brick behind it, and it gave a nice, beautiful look. And this is where my TV is going. And I put all these um, artificial grass on pots, so they're not real. I don't have to water them. They're just there for the look. I like them. They came out real nice. After I did all that, then came the floor. Painting the floor, I have done it twice. I just didn't like this garage paint. It was not glossy. It, when it got dirty, it was so hard to clean because it's like it went in the paint. It was like scrubbing, like sandpaper. I hated it. But I found this one here. This paint is for the is a uh, patio semi gloss. So it gives you a little shine, and let me tell you, it's very easy to clean. I clean it up real nice. And look at the floor, how beautiful. This white floor looks nice, beautiful. I might, might get the epoxy and put it over, but maybe not. Maybe I'll just do this like the way I was doing it before. Every six months or every year, I'll paint it again, keep it nice and fresh, but loving. I always like that white floor, like I said before. The other thing was the 
wall I took some frames that I had before and I printed some Taino artwork they came out beautiful love the way it looks because I'm giving classes here and I just want to keep everything the same theme of my Taino and I couldn't get rid of these over here the Iron Man and the other and the other one from Hansel and Gredo I think it is I don't know if it's that but love that art that was given to me by the artist and awesome beautiful so what I did with the light was I took the divider took it outside and painted red so it could give a little nice look with the red that was the other red part that's in the shop I love the way it looks the other thing was the counter the counter I took that counter and I want to make it a whole complete section so I was able to get the shelves and the counter all together and got this big plywood put it on the top lined it up real nice and then paint it up put some epoxy on top of it nice and shine for my ink will we'll go in the wood but loving the way it looks I cannot complain like it and I also did the same thing for where I placed the shirts where I placed the shirts I wanted a bigger table I had a square table it was not long enough that table I used it for I'll show you later for the um, exposure unit which it fit perfectly but going back to the table real nice just perfect there I took this little crate that I think the pallets when I ordered from Anatole the pallets came in I didn't want to break this this is beautiful and I took it there so I could put my extra shirts and use these shirts for samples if I want to print on to do some test runs like the way it looks I still got to do some adjustment to it but I'm gonna hook that up really really nice the other part is the office the office what I'm doing now is I'm moving up the office more closer to the shop not go inside to in the room because when I'm gonna be talking there I want to make sure that the camera is behind and it's in it's it's out of that room more out that you could see the press and you could see the conveyor dryer a little closer much better just for the YouTube thing so really like it now this is the one I really fell in love with is the dark room the dark room I had to paint that all white it was some burgundy walls oh it was I, I never got to paint it all I did was put that big shelf there I got it out but I painted the red little table where I'm gonna put the screen and coat it to with emotion have the little slide I paint that little table red to give that combination and my boys um, art from the graffiti um, rationale I put that in the dark room where it makes the dark room look really really nice now if you notice the lighting the lighting all I did was I took regular um, LED lights is there what I bought was this wrap that they sell different color wraps I got one for the red and I decided to get the yellow and I wrapped it a few layers and I wrapped it around the light to see if maybe it doesn't damage my emotion so what I did was I did some test runs I did four screens I caught them there I let them I, get, I left them there for for about maybe three four days then I exposed them and they exposed well so I guess that light works for me and I don't have to spend money on that yellow safe light light bulb I think that's pretty good try it it'll help you out it gives my room much much light that I like to see what I'm doing now the other one I just received about maybe five days ago was my first time ever screen rack this screen rack I looked around and there was some screen racks but the size of my 20 by 24 um, screens I didn't find none like that they were more bigger I don't know if I, I didn't want to risk on getting it bigger and now they don't really fall in so I got this one from um, eBay and it's an adjustable so you could adjust it small or as wide as you want and it's perfect because later I want to move to my screens I want to get bigger screens so this is perfect right now and it holds about 25 screens 25 screens so I will be able to keep some screens and just on the top to um, dry uh, all I need is six 
And that's not every time. Most likely you're gonna be using one, two, two jobs, three jobs, or one color, two color print. But I could put six, I could put as many as I want and just move the other ones out of the way. That's what I like about the screen rack and it made my dark room look much bigger. I'm happy with it. Oh man, I'm glad. If you notice, when it comes to the black wall, I have some nice color LED. I got the shelf that you can see the blue behind and the red to match the Anatole press. Now, let's get to the new equipment. What I got here is the six color, six station Anatole Thunder. It's a beauty. It's a tank, like I said before, nice. And when it came to the flasher, I got the Anatole Rapid Wave. Beautiful flasher, sensor. That's what I've been looking for. Something that I don't have to be going back and forth, moving the flasher, bringing it back in, moving it back out, forgetting it, then it just scorched my ink. You know, and if I don't have no shirt there, I, I had a few of my palettes that got burned because I left it there. Glad I got the sensor, and let me tell you, it's a, <laughs> what a powerful machine. 10 seconds, woo, and it, that's it. It's flash, real nice. And the other one I have here is the Anatol Solution Conveyor Dryer. This is a monster. This, I was checking it out, I was like trying to figure out the timing, it came out to heating it up to about 725 degrees, so it could cure the shirt in 45 seconds. It could cure about 330, 340. I'm good with it. I did my test run. It's awesome, awesome. And the other one, finally, the exposure unit right here. The Anatole Aurora LED exposure unit. It's a beauty. The motor it came with was huge. I was like, what is this? It looks like an alternator, you know, but it sucks out the air so fast in seconds. It's already flattened and tight. And the thing that I noticed with my test run was just 30 seconds. Your screen is already exposed. Wash it very well with just a garden hose. Loving it, loving it. So the shop is beautiful getting ready to do some videos and tutorials like I said before. So thank you for watching and if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. May God bless you all. Be grateful, stay safe, and peace out.